Turning now to I-Team 8, tens of thousands of Catholics are descending now upon downtown Indianapolis for the National Eucharistic Congress. I-Team 8's Cody Fisher spoke with IMPD about how they're going to keep everyone safe. This is the last of four pilgrimages that have come from across the United States for the National Eucharistic Congress. But this procession pales into comparison to the one that will happen on Saturday. We're expecting 55,000 Catholics from across the United States and even the world. On Saturday, those Catholics will follow the route marked in yellow from the convention center to the war memorial, which IMPD has spent a long time preparing for. So this is unique. Uh, we have worked several major events to include parades in the past. None of those major events were the size of what this will be. It's challenging with our resources, but I think We've been planning on this for about a year with the NEC and our state police partners. I think we have a good plan in place and uh, I don't foresee any specific major issues. Part of the preparations included working with federal and state partners to identify any threats. No, at this point we have no derogatory, derogatory information that would impact this event. All of that preparation by IMPD allows these Catholics to simply enjoy the event. Just moved by the Holy Spirit and how he's worked through all of us. I think it could not have happened if it weren't the work of the Holy Spirit. The main goal is to grow deeper in their faith. To pray, to worship, and to revitalize and renew our belief in the Eucharist and the Blessed Sacrament. I think that sometimes our love can grow a little bit cold, and so this is an opportunity for the faithful to revitalize their belief and then to go out into a world where they can serve and bring the love of Christ to others. The focus won't just be on themselves, they'll also be serving the community. And so we'll be packing several hundred thousand meals here at the National Eucharistic Congress uh, to feed those who are hungry and hurting. Reporting downtown. I'm my teammates Cody Fisher for Wish TV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook for updates.